So, good day, mate. 40 here, Sydney Harbour Bridge, looking out of the Sydney Opera House, and uh, Twitter has dissolved its Trust and Safety Council. And I immediately have more trust and feel safer on Twitter. So, when Twitter was shadow banning conservatives, censoring conservatives, banning conservatives, right, the, the Trust and Safety Committee you know, played a big role in that. So, all these Orwellian named teams somehow seem always dominated, dominated by the liberal left. I, did you really feel more trust in Twitter and more safety on Twitter because of the Trust and Safety Committee? But somehow, these committees, these non governmental organizations, these elites, they're dominated by the left and they protect the left wing partisan worldview, which is fine, but they didn't even understand their own worldview is partisan. They just think it's objective truth. But uh, in the final analysis, you know, the, the traditional and, and the modern, the, the right and the left, are very different conceptions of the self. And almost all our political differences come down to these fundamental conceptions of the self. Whether you view the self as porous, meaning I'm affected by what goes on around me, so that as a heterosexual, gay marriage still affects me. Or if you view the self as buffered, meaning you know, what people do next door, the privacy of their own home does not affect me. Right? The buffered self is a modern, liberal, secular perspective. The porous self is the traditional, even medieval perspective on the self. So the, the liberal left perspective on the self is that we are strategic autonomous beings who are basically good. The traditional perspective on the self is that we're not basically good, that uh, we are frequently self-defeating and frequently not so strategic or autonomous, but uh, we're not really so much individuals with inalienable rights, but you know, members of a tribe, a community, an extended family and whatever rights we are afforded will vary depending on circumstances. So I don't see individuals, generally speaking, primarily as individuals. I see them as members of a group, as members of a tribe. That's kind of the, the nationalist worldview. While the liberal left modern secular perspective on the self is that we are individuals born into the world within inalienable rights. The traditional conception of the self is that we are born into families, extended families, tribes, and nations, and that we are primarily not individuals but members of an extended family.